Welcome okay. to Bio Balance Healthcast, episode number 483 The Aging Female Face How to Reverse the Process. Bio Balance Health features conversations about anti aging medicine. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Moppin, Medical Director of Bio Balance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Moffin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the newly released book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of T replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Moffin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Moffin's office is currently accepting new patients. So you are going to talk today about what you know about women's faces and why that's relevant to a medical doctor who does hormone replacement treatment as her primary uh, occupation. Well, one of the very first things I noticed after I started treating myself, or I was treated and I treat other people, other women, when I looked at them and when they came back or looked at myself after four months of hormones, I looked younger. I looked better. My skin tone was better. Their skin tone was better. They literally looked like everything had just been kind of pulled in. No matter what age they were, they looked younger when they came back than when they first came to me before treatment. So that was my first inkling 18 years ago about what, what's going on here, then I researched that, and that was because testosterone and estrogen stimulate collagen and improve the texture of your skin and, in, and improve the tightness of your skin. And that happens, we lose our testosterone in our 40s, so that happens pretty early. So you can look at somebody or yourself at 40 and then take all the pictures from 20 and 30 and 35 and look and you'll see a difference because that's when we start seeing gravity and environmental issues like toxins in the air, poor diet, smoking, um, alcohol content, or alcohol, um, over alcohol intake. Um, All the bad things that we did when we were young don't really show up until we're in our 40s. So then we hit 40, testosterone drops, and we start seeing the changes of aging. But my patients come to me and go, well, I'm not sure what's wrong. I can't tell what it is that makes me old and what it is that makes me look older than I did in my 30s right. besides the hormones of course so so, so my first thought is I a, take it apart you know and look at each well part. you do that but that's the way you approach problem solving <laughs> that's how I, I mean yeah but I think men are not raised with the same sensory awareness they don't pay as much attention they just look at us and say we look young or we look old right that's it. and they don't understand that there's a process involved Right. And they don't do as much with product and so on that make up what have you that women are raised to do for enhancing their beauty. Because men look good as they get older longer because they have testosterone until they're 55 or 60. So you have an advantage. So we have, yes, a biological Mm -hmm. advantage. And what I am learning from you is that what women go through that with the biological disadvantage Mm -hmm can't really be compensated for with over-the-counter cosmetics. I mean, putting on more lipstick or rouge or or powder isn't going to solve the problems that we're talking about. Because as you age and your skin condition changes, your skin tone Mm -hmm. changes, the collagen deteriorates, evaporates, jowls start to develop, Mm -hmm. double, triple triple chins. chins. Uh, Makeup's not going to solve that. No, it's not. You can do an optical illusion. It's still not going to make you look young. It will just make you look good for your age. You know, so you can still use makeup to make you look good for your age. That doesn't make you look younger. So you have to do the but inside. It, but it also involves more, how do I want to say this? Effort? It, it, yeah, well, a comprehensive approach. I mean, mm-hmm. you, you have to watch your weight. Mm-hmm. If you weigh 300 pounds, no matter what you do to your face, you're still going to look well, but if less you, than if what you, you want to If you're overweight, you get fat deposits in your face in the wrong places. You get them in your chin and your jowls, and it, it actually hides your features. Because uh-huh. your features are made by your, by your bones and your skin, t- skin t- um, that is taut over the bones and the fat that's in your face, but not fat like fat that's down here. So, that's, so we're posting a picture of the same woman, three different mm-hmm, pictures of her ages. face as she ages. Mm-hmm. So over, over three decades. 
Mm -hmm. And you're addressing the distinctions of change, whether mm -hmm. it's crow's feet around the eyes, mm -hmm. what makes that, what happens. Mm -hmm. but, but you start with the skin tone and collagen loss, mm -hmm. which primarily your response to that is testosterone. If you yes. replace the testosterone... Initially, that's my, that's my answer. Okay. And then you look at the different specifics. If you look at the second picture, you can see that what's happening is she's getting deeper crevices here. And she's um, getting kind of sagging skin down here and on her eyes. She's also getting, you don't see this in the picture, but she, she, will, she would be getting grooves here and around her, big, deep uh, cracks around her eyes, maybe smile lines, but then these get really deep as well. That's that subconscious old look. Now, people will just say, well, yeah, you look, you know, you look 50 or in, maybe 45, because you have those changes early. So I grew up in a, in a generation where almost all the adults smoked all the time. Mm -hmm. and people smoked in cars, they smoked in theaters, they smoked on airplanes, mm -hmm. they smoked all the time. Mm -hmm. And I noticed my grandparents and my parents as they age, mm -hmm. their skin looked almost like it had been cured. Leather. Like, leathery, yes, and mm -hmm. didn't have any real texture. Mm -hmm. uh, or it had texture. It was like deep, thick texture. Well, it wasn't smooth. It wasn't mm -hmm. shiny. It wasn't fluid. Well, that's a change from hypoxia. So when you smoke, your body goes into a low oxygen state. So your your cells are screaming for oxygen, and and you build basically build thick exfoliative skin 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 that's really thick above your dermis in the top layer, and I mean it could be exfoliated off it that can be worked on by an esthetician. But basically, you're ruining your skin with toxins that come from smoking and from hypoxia. It takes a lot to get rid of that. I mean, that's going to take exfoliation, facials, lasers. I mean, that kind of texture problem it is big. And that does make people look a lot older. I mean, yeah. it's, it, is, it, it is one of those changes that's I don't see all the time. I don't see people who are continuing to smoke or smoked even for a very long time just because well, the, the people culture's that, changed. Yeah, the culture's changed and people yeah. who have come to me are, are looking for health and usually they've already abandoned smoking by the time they get to me. Right. And they don't have that kind of change or I see it more in men. But the first the first changes that we have are our texture and and testosterone and estrogen help that. But then if it doesn't get you all the way to a nice smooth soft face like you should have as a woman, uh, then we start using hydrofacials. Hydrofacials are facials with a, um, a pulsed pressure saline water, but it's salt water, salt which water. is what we're made of, and salt water with different serums that are basically injected below the skin by the pressure of the water. So it, it basically fills up the skin with nutrients, so it feeds the skin, but it also plumps up the skin which makes an aging face look better. It fills in this line. It fills in the, the grooves around your eyes for a period of time, and then you have to come back and do it again. Usually once a month is what people do hydrofacials to keep their face looking dewy and, and young. So and that increases the collagen? That can in, it increases the collagen. It also increases the texture. The texture okay. of the skin itself, the the epidermis and the dermis. Yeah. So it stimulates collagen, but it also depends on what serum you use. It also gives you a lot of hydration, and hydration is one of the things that we lose as so we what age. So if, what if my skin is already damaged from smoking or spending too much time in the sun mm -hmm. uh, or wind, what have you? Mm -hmm. uh, you have something called a jet peel. Is that well, for that's, that? That's the hydrofacial. That, that's the hydrofacial. That's, that's the just hydrofacial. a brand name. Yes, okay. it's just a brand name. So we okay. have we have the newer jet peel. We okay. have the hydrofacial, which is the new height. The new. So model. they just rub rub this nozzle over your face, or they we you know it goes over your face. It doesn't hurt. No, it feels no, I've, really I've actually good. had that done. Yes, you yeah. have. We have we try, have to have to expose Guinea you to pig. almost that's everything. That's my middle name. That's right. So um, yeah, so we just run this over your face, and it it puts pressurized. Saline and serums with vitamins or with amino acids or uh, hydroxy, uh, hydroxy um, amino acids so that build, it gives you the food for your skin to, to okay. actually build. But it, it's going below the surface. Putting things on the surface don't get through your skin, no matter what they say, 
unless they have a carrier. Carriers are like chemicals that drive the drive the um, chemicals the other excuse me they carry the other chemicals deep into the skin, and that's caffeine right. or theophylline. So. Those are some of the things that would drive it below the skin, but this is the pressure that drives it. So you, so you have a whole bag of tools, though, for these yes. kinds of mm -hmm. issues. And we, we mentioned jet peel, we talked about hydrofacial, mm -hmm. but you have something called a rejuva pin. Right. If your damage is, is significant, and we do, a, we do the hydrofacial, and we see a difference, but it's not where you want to go, it's not enough, then we use the rejuva pin, which actually has tiny little needles that are... Are, it's almost like stamping, stamped on your face in the areas where you need to rebuild your collagen. So here, because big deep lines here make you look old, so smoothing these out is very important. So you can have these in uh, the Rejuva pen actually go into and carry some of hy uh, the, the hydrox. Does that put something in you, yeah, or you, does that just stimulate the collagen by, by popping both. the skin? You can put. You can actually deliver... Um, B building blocks for collagen. Okay. Or you can then traumatize the collagen, and that's what the needles do. So it traumatizes the collagen to thicken up, and so, you need to thicken it up to hold your face against gravity. My my sense as you were talking, it, it, you start with a global look at the face, mm -hmm. the whole the face in its entirety. Mm -hmm. But then you hone in on specific features, mm -hmm. and you have different things or treatments for each feature. So you, you, you were talking right. about the, the grooves that come around mm -hmm. your, your uh, jawbone. Mm -hmm. or, that's or like, around your eyes and your mouth. Yeah, orbit, yeah. And the grooves that come around. Between your eyes. Between your eyes. So after we attend to this first issue, we then look at, or it could be either one first, but we then look at the grooves between your eyes that make you look mad all the time. It's, it's a facial expression, concentration, that makes your eyes makes the muscles around your eyes and between uh, between your eyes actually groove because the muscles are spasmed in that. You have that. So my, we, don't, we don't take that away from men. It makes them look intelligent. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, some, some my, men. But my them. wife will sit around and watch people, and she'll say, oh, too much Botox. Is, oh. is Botox something that... So, so this is what we do. We both, This is what makes those grooves go away and makes these go, go away and, and uh, can kind of change some of... Like, I pull my chin in. So I have Botox in my chin, so I don't pull my chin in huh. and, and cause myself to Call have... a wrinkle across yeah, here. Yeah, and wrinkles tuck. kind of up yeah. and down here. Okay. It's ugly. So, so Botox goes into the muscle that's below your skin and paralyzes it. So you can't frown. You can't raise your eyebrows in general. But if it's done well, the grooves go away and you can still use your eyebrows like I can. So they don't paralyzed like the the whole region between your eyes no. they find the specific grooves and put the little pin the muscles on either in, side of the grooves in that groove mm -hmm. and paralyze and, and and it's not a permanent lifetime paralysis no it's only a it's a 3 to 4 month window that and you have to come back every 3 to 4 months and have it repeated over time the grooves get get more superficial and look better so is Botox then what they put in lips to make the lips look less withered? No, that's, that's different, and I'm going to get to that. That's like the last, not necessarily the last thing, but it depends on what the patient wants. Okay. If she just sees her lips, then we'll go ahead and do this ahead of time. So let's go, let's talk about lips. Okay. As you get older, your lips thin out. You lose your lips. They get thinner and thinner and thinner. That's not a big deal for guys because guys have facial hair or can have facial hair. They don't have to have nice, juicy, young-looking lips. Yeah. However, the size of your lips does affect how old people think you are. If your lips are really thin, then they view you as old. If they're not, they view you as younger. So a lot of people will have filler, filler placed in their lips, and they have it on the edge so that the edge turns up, and they have it inside the lips to just make them a little bit more full and not so flat, but it also makes the lip bigger. So this, this is one of those little tricks that will immediately get you attention in terms of being healthy and being young. So when we, when we have this and we make sure they are not going for the, the huge big lips, we're just not going to do that. This is a medical practice. We want you to be normal. We don't want you to be abnormal. Right. 
We don't people want people to say that negatively. Right. And yeah. I don't and that is not the look you're looking for to be healthy and young. You're just looking for your own lips back. So we like to have you bring in a picture of what you look like when you were 30, 35 and see what you look like then and try to reachieve that. Yeah. So it's a painful process. You should go to a nurse or a nurse practitioner for any of these things. We, anytime they use a needle in terms of injecting something into you, you should have a nurse or a nurse practitioner or a doctor doing this. And they should numb you up like the dentist does yeah. because your lips are very sensitive and your lips are, it, it hurts. I've had all this stuff done. It hurts so bad if you have needles put into your, into your lips. Wow. So you have to have an, a block of some kind. And it's not permanent. I mean, it lasts no, for but, a few months? No, this lasts more. Uh, um, when I've had it, it's lasted a couple of years. It hasn't. Oh, okay. You know, but I'm also not looking for the yeah. big, huge lips. Yeah. I'm just looking for my lips. <laughs> you know, so mm -hmm. it, it lasts a lot longer in this area. Okay. So, this is, so this is something that we do when that is the concern of the patient, or we do everything else and we go, oh, everything looks great. No, no grooves. Everything's lifted. And... Huh, we're looking at you and going, oh, but your lips need a little bit of something. Okay. So the next thing, the, the third thing down beside after Botox and is filler. So filler is really important. If we, if we don't have enough collagen and we don't have enough fat in our face, we look like this and all of our skin comes down here and hangs. Okay. So what happens, everybody thinks that their circles under their eyes got bigger well, that's not what got bigger. Your cheek got smaller. It's like the skin ran away from the Right. Uh, yeah. It ran away from it. It dragged yeah. down here. And so then you have these. Now, that makes you look old. So yeah. when you lose your cheeks and this comes down, that makes you look old. And if you look at, for some reason, British have a bigger problem with this. But when they lose all that fat and they're, they've got the, you know, the puppy dog eyes, then they get a big groove here, kind of up and down like that. And that makes them look like 70. <laughs> you know, no matter how old they are. So you you need to have filler. So we use several different kinds of filler based on where you're going to put the filler. It's a collagen-like material. It lasts up to, we have one that lasts 15 years, oh, wow. one that lasts nine months. So, of course, the cost goes up with the l length of the time that it lasts. Right. So we, and, and we have to decide where we're putting it. Are we putting it in deep, like cheeks? Cheeks are great. You can put in a needle here, blow your cheek up and with one stick, and there it is. And then that's the biggest, for me, that's the best uh, way to look younger fast. So to me, that's like putting air in a tire. Yeah, you just it is. put it in and But fill it's collagen. The, yeah. Air wouldn't work. Well, no, no, I know that. No, but <laughs> I, I try to think in terms of an uh, understandable analogy for right. me. It is. It's just like... Blowing they just your cheeks fill it up. Back up. Now the the catch is you don't want your cheeks blown up so much that from the side they're like yeah. leading you into the room. No. But but it takes So it's an art form. I mean it's, you have to show all of some skill. all of everybody who does filler is an artist. They're taking your face and they're doing Michelangelo sculpting on it and making it look like you again or a better you than even you were when you were thirty. Okay. So so that's much you, that's the most important part of that is finding the right person to do your filler. Yes. And we have we have Dana and she does an amazing job and is always up on the newest stuff. And I get I get to be the benefactor of that. <laughs> well, we had Dana for one of our previous podcasts and we mm -hmm. were discussing with her this process and she talked about fillers, but then she also talked about something that I had never heard of before called threading. Right. And it's not the threading that the, like they do your eyebrows at the mall? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't advise that at all because they have this thread in their mouth and who knows what's in their mouth. And so I don't, that's not the threading this is. Yeah. They call these threads, they come in all different sizes, thin ones, thicker ones. They call the thread, or the threads are really a suture. And they, okay. they kind of, they put the suture down here and it has little barbs on it. I hate to use the word barbs, but they're little sharp edges mm -hmm. and when they pull it up like this it stays the, so you say they put it down here they put it under, under the skin, skin thread it along yeah. the jawline or like if you're trying well, to pull the jowls up or something well it's kind of like if you if you've got this if this is all saggy then you have to come down here and pull this back okay and then you have to do a little up here pull that back and then you have to go right down to the jawline and pull that up 
So you're using one, one little insertion site to get these all different ones. Different ones. So, so it's like fishing, though. They they probe down and, and hook mm -hmm. it and then pull it back up. Yep. And reverse the pull of gravity. Right, and that's and and that is a really quick fix, uh -huh. and that lasts longer than filler. But if you don't have any, if you don't have any fat in your face or you don't have any filler in your face, this is not going to look as good because you need to have the smoothness over over these uh, sutures and. We're, get, we're actually getting a machine that has nitrous in it so that you don't have to feel it because it's not pleasant. Mm. I mean, I've had it done without anything, but but I'm... I'm it's hard to sell to people, though, if it hurts. I'm tough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I've had a lot of stuff done, so it doesn't... I don't feel it quite as much. But we're getting... Yeah. We use lo local, but, you know, that's that's not enough for some things. Yeah. But this is... It's really a great treatment. It just has to be in the right hands. Mm. Um. Sagging eyelids, sagging eyebrows, do you have something for that? Yes. Um, eyebrows, sometimes eyebrows sag because the muscle that holds your, your eye down is pulling them down. So Botox sometimes works for that. Sometimes you've just lost so much fat that was on your forehead that we usually don't inject filler there. We usually use the needle, um, the RejuvaPen. There, but we're getting something this week called called the um, plasma pen, where your own plasma is injected into that area, and it actually stimulates your collagen much better than just needles. So your own plasma. So you take a blood draw uh -huh. and spin out the plasma, mm -hmm. and then inject it back in. Right. It's like stem cell, but it's okay. your plasma. Yeah. And so we use that there. We use it a underneath your eyebrow to kind of refill this area. And we can even, this pen is the only thing that can actually go down over your eyelid okay. and not hurt your eyes. Wow. So this is, we used to do this kind of thing with laser. We still do. But in some circumstances, this is a better answer just because we don't get the laser near your eye. Right. We just have these little tiny plasma injections there. Okay. So we're looking forward to that. And it takes away these little... Uh, these little lines that you get from burning, getting sunburned or smoking or drinking out of a water bottle for years. So that actually is one of the treatments for that as well. That was the only thing we were missing was the, the treatment for this and for the eyes. And now, we're, now we'll have it. So today's conversation has been entirely about the aging process for the female face. Mm -hmm. But you have a business called Bob Balance Skin that looks at the entire body and can work mm -hmm. on the specific part of your body, shaping it, getting it to look good mm -hmm. uh, for whatever you need done. Right. You can. We put filler in the back of your hands so that we don't see all the vessels and, and all the, I mean, as your hands age, they lose fat Can you deal too. with like brown spots and yeah. stuff? Yeah. And we laser off brown spots all over your body. Uh, we can, we remove hair. That's the easiest thing, you know, that you can have done, but that's also keeps you from having to shave. And we, and we do all these things because you've learned through 18 years of practice that if you look better, you feel better. Right. And if you feel better, you want to look better. So right. it's, it's a, it's a symbiotic and experience. I, I usually have my patients who are just getting their pellets to get your pellets, see what you look like then. Yeah. And then Go see, go see my estheticians and Dana, my nurse, to, to get a plan for your face yes. and your body. Start with a good consultation. Because a lot of people will start losing weight. You want to lose weight where you want to lose it. You, this is my last, my last statement. You don't right. want to lose weight. You don't want to lose your breasts. You don't want to lose your butt. You don't want to have saggy skin on your legs. You want to lose your belly, usually, yeah. or right below your bra line so, or arms. So those are the places you want to lose weight. That's what we add to our weight loss program is a juva shape, which, al which also dissolves fat, but also tightens the skin. Now, that's really important because you don't want to lose the fat and then have skin hanging down. Right. So this is the only machine that does both. So we use that while you're losing weight. It's not a substitute for diet. It's not a substitute for exercise. It's while you're already losing weight, to lose it in the place that you want to lose it in and not where you want to keep breasts are only fat. You don't want to lose all the fat in your breasts. You want to lose right. it where you want to lose it. So that's our little trick for, for a whole body kind of shaping. So as you can see, it is a complex process. We hope you will 
examine what's available at BioBalance Health and BioBalance Skin. And as always, thank you for listening. Follow us on uh, YouTube at BioBalance Health. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.